a little sick today. Sick of crappy squishy kits. No, I'm literally sick. Uh. Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing another squishy kit review. You know, it's nothing out of the ordinary. I've done this before. It's a thing, except I'm doing four of them. This is a battle of the cheap squishy kit and there will be a winner and there will be a loser it's it's about to go down these uh you know paint your own squishy kits have been popping up all over the place recently and i've just accumulated a little collection now we're gonna see which one is the best battle fight Okay, so let's take a look at the contestants, shall we? I'm gonna start with this one. I got this from Walmart, I believe, and it was like $6. It's by Be Inspired by Crazy Art. Wait, Crazy Squeezies. Not squishies, squeezies. It, this one is interesting because it's a box, so I can't squish it. This should come with two squishies and four markers. Wait, you're lying. It's tiny. Two of them is the size of one of these. That is disappointing. I mean, they are cute little shapes. They have nice details on them and they're decently squishy. Okay. Oh, there's instructions too. So the instructions are absolute common sense. Color on the squishy, don't be an idiot, that kind of thing. So tell me why they needed this whole box for these two tiny little things. I don't know. All right, so we've got this one, and this one was the most expensive at $6. Then we have this one. I actually have experience with this brand of kit. I did the original one way back when. These are by hashtag BU, and the company did send this to me, uh, so I didn't buy this with my own money, but they assured me that I could say whatever I wanted. I told them that I like to give honest reviews, and they said that that's completely fine, so I'm gonna do that. They did get rid of the obnoxiously large packaging, which I appreciate, but other than that, it looks pretty much the same. It's just a different squishy. I don't know how different of an experience this will be from the original one, but we will see. Just a heads up, the experience will be different. Prepare yourself. One thing I really liked about the original kit was that they had neutral colors in there. Hey, hey look. They put normal colors in here, but they got rid of the neutrals. Um, so it's just bright colors. I wish there was like a white or something like that, but that's okay. And then these two, I'm kind of gonna group together. I got them from a store called Gabe's. Oh, someone stole the squishy out of this one. They're called Squashies. Squashy? Paint me DIY Squashies. Contains one squashy. And this one has a little paint set, and this one has little markers. It's a little mermaid and a little dinosaur. And you know, they're, they're kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie, they're kind of cute. So this one was $4, this one was $2. So definitely the cheapest. I have extremely low expectations. We are going to test all of these out and see which one gives the best results. I'm going to actually switch the camera now and get to painting and coloring and testing out. And in the end, I will come back and give you guys the results of the competition. It's gonna get very serious and intense. So we're gonna start with this one. Let's open it up. Yeah, it's definitely already open. Who do you think you're fooling? I absolutely love this little cupcake, so cute, but it does worry me to see how smooth the surface is. You may know what happens when you use fabric paint on a squishy that has no texture to it. It doesn't work out too well, but the directions don't say that that's going to be a problem or that you need to prep the squishy in any way. 
so I'm just gonna follow the directions. I know I complained about the lack of a neutral, but I'm gonna try to make this work and quit whining about it. To make brown, you need to mix any set of complementary colors. Welcome to color theory. I'm gonna start with the yellow and slowly add some purple to it. I gotta be very careful about how much paint I'm using here because looking at these itty bitty um, paint samples, I could definitely run out of paint. There's my cake color. Ew. Doesn't look that appetizing, but close, close. The only thing I'm gonna use this for is that little strip of cake showing through there. Why does this remind me of diarrhea? I realize there's no way I'm gonna have enough paint in one of those little tiny tubes to cover the big cupcake liner. So I'm gonna have to combine colors to make more paint. So let's do that, sure. And now let's paint this cupcake liner with the lovely shade of green. And everything so far is, you know, 2D, fruity, holly doody. I have no idea what I just said. You know, everything's going normal. Once that dried, I noticed that there are a lot of thin spots and it's very bubbly. <laughs> Not that kind of bubbly, which does happen with fabric paint occasionally, but this is a severe case of bubble acne. I definitely don't have enough paint to fix this, so kind of just have to deal with it. Now for the frosting. Do we want pink frosting? or purple frosting. Well, guess what? You can't choose. I'm gonna guess that there's not enough of either of the colors to properly cover the entire area. So again, we have to combine these. Here we go again. And you know what? I don't hate it at all. I don't hate the green color at all, but I never would have put these two together if I had a choice. And with the awkward diarrhea in the center, the combination is just not looking so great. I definitely didn't remember being as frustrated by the paint supply last Last time, I looked back at the video, and it turns out I was combining paint from two different kits. So I guess I'm gonna have to dip into the other bottle of brown. Totally, totally cheating. After coat number one dried, it looked very thin, patchy, bubbly again. Luckily, I did have a little bit more paint. It's looking good, nothing weird, uh, so I set it aside to dry, and then I notice. There are these spots that are just like clumping up and creating these little air pockets. What I'm doing there, that's not that's not helping. But <laughs> let's just move along, pretend like things aren't falling apart. I saved the absolute last drop of each color of paint and I'm gonna dot on some little sprinkles. I don't think that even sprinkles can save it, but I'm going to try. The saga will continue, but in the meantime, let's move on to the next contestant. So let's talk squ Squeezies, right? This lovely kit includes two squeezies and four markers. Let's zoom in so we can see these tiny little squishies. I'm not being passive aggressive, no. So we have the heart pancake thing and the little heart donut, nice. So I'm gonna start with the heart donut and the pink marker. <laughs> Why? This reminds me a lot of the soft and slow DIY squishy situation, except these are not paint markers, they're more like Sharpies. The ink is very smudgy, does not dry quickly. I noticed the instructions say to let these dry overnight, so like eight hours for a marker to dry. I thought that the main advantage of using markers was that it was quicker to dry, but that's okay. I let the pink dry, and now for the top. It's so difficult to be precise with these things. Ugh. The blue color was extremely weak, and it just looks real messy overall. I gotta be honest. It's so ugly. <laughs> so that's contestant number two. Okay, now for the paint me kits. Starting with the mermaid. If we're lucky, she'll look like this in the end. Yay. Serious question though, why is she green? So here's what we're working with. These markers look pretty pathetic. This one has some thing stuck in it. Earwax? Ew. And now it's time for squashy roasting. I just wanted to say squashy roasting. So let's try this out. I know these are cheap and I did have low expectations, but this kit went even lower. The marker is drying out so fast before I could even finish the back of it. The color is just gone. I tried to revive it, but no, no, it, it did not work. So I thought, let's, let's try a different color. Maybe it'll be better. Turns out the green marker was the star of the group, it worked way better than the others. So that's wonderful. I tried to color her shell bra. Um... <laughs> 
Let me just emphasize those straps. This is not going well, and I know I have complained a lot already in this video, but just look what I'm working with. Here's where she morphs into a psycho serial killer. Okay, and the final contestant. At this point, I'm just praying for a miracle. Spoiler alert, it's not gonna happen. So here's a familiar situation. Since these paint pots have ridiculously tiny amounts of paint in them, we have to combine two and a half to create enough paint to go along. Of course, I hadn't tested this kit before. I was just kind of guessing and eyeballing it. I did transfer this into a sealable container to make sure that none of it dried up. For the other color, I'm mixing the blue Blue, pink, and a bit of the red, another green and purple squishy. <laughs> no! Just to make those two colors, I've used all the paint except for the black and a little bit of the red. I actually used the brush that they put in the kit. This hurts me. The paint was very strange. I do think that this is fabric paint. It's just some kind of warped, twisted version of fabric paint. It's extremely thin, which is why even after multiple colors, Coats, it, it, it looks like this. Is it just me or does it look like a pickle? It's incredibly streaky and impossible to get even coverage. After this last coat of paint, I was thinking, oh, okay, it's looking better. We're getting somewhere. Good thing, because I'm completely out of paint. And then it dried and, uh, you know. So now I have to paint his back thing. What do you call that? And I really didn't mind this purple color too much until it dried and turned into a very dark, dull, depressing kind of purple. So another coat of that. And I did add some little purple freckles with the end of the paintbrush. I'm still trying to make this cute. You're not gonna save that. Now for the face. It's a pickle. Okay, well, here comes a nice derpy little face complete with nostrils. And that's it. These are the ugliest squishies I've ever created. This is not a good representation of what I do, but let's talk, okay? The ultimate loser has to be this one. I mean, what is that? Granted, it is $1.99. Well, that's what I paid for it. Uh, it was on sale. It used to be $4. Yeah, for $2, like you can't expect the world, but they might as well just get rid of the markers. Put a blank squishy up for $2 and not even act like it's a kit, because it's not. It's false advertising, okay. You will see her in a makeover video, I'm almost positive. In third place, uh, <clears throat> We'll give this one third place. This one was the $4 one. Original price was $5. Ugh. Oh, these are supposed to be scented? Ew. This is not how it should look after three coats of paint. It's so streaky and dark and dull. It was impossible to get an even color. And there's so little paint, I had to kind of mix all the colors together. I haven't really squished this that much yet. So let me squish it a few times and see how well the paint holds up. Because I was... Look, uh, it doesn't uh, hold on very well. It's kind of just flaking off. So I think the paint is just super weak. This one I'll talk about next. It looks super messy. And as you handle it, the ink will definitely come off. It'll spread onto your fingers. It'll spread onto whatever it touches and it'll just continually rub off. This is nothing like the results that you will get, no. No, that is clearly just photoshopped. It's kind of a bad sign when they can't actually put real results on a package because it looks too crappy. I didn't even bother to cover this one because it's like, uh. And the winner, oh, the winner, the winner, woo. The sarcasm is out of control. This one wins, but only because of how terrible the other ones are. Obviously I had that weird problem with like the paint seizing up when it was drying. It did flatten out a little bit as it dried. You can still see that there are a lot of lumpy spots. And now when you squish it, you can see that that there is air under those areas. I thought that this one was gonna be okay, but then that happened and I was like, oh, okay, well, not. The squishy is too smooth, so the paint is not gonna stick. And every time I squish it, it gets worse. You can see at the bottom, it's kind of bubbling up. 
In the original kit, the squishies were not as smooth. They had a lot more texture to them, so this wasn't a problem before. I have learned that if you sand the surface of the squishy, just rough it up a little bit. It gives the squishy enough texture for the paint to grab onto. They give you so little of each color. It's not like you really have options. Like in order to make the paint go far enough, you have to mix them together to combine them to get more paint. Back to uh, square one with this deja vu. It's not as disappointing as it was the first time this happened to me because I kind of saw it coming. I wish that they would test these things, you know, and, and see like, oh shoot, like it doesn't stick. Oh, hi. Can you believe that this happened again? Can you believe that? I knew that there were gonna probably be some failures but I really didn't expect all of them to be failures. I am glad that I was able to knock out four reviews in one video, so now you know what's up when you see these in the stores. At least I have some more makeover candidates. So honestly, there is not a squishy kit that I have just like given a great review of. If there's a good product, I would love to talk about how great of a product it is, but I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys and say like, oh yeah, it's so great when it clearly kind of sucks. None of these will work. Like, why is it so hard? It's, it's such a simple thing. Stop complaining, you're so rude and ungrateful. But in the meantime, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tragedy and it was somewhat entertaining for you. I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.